Hey everyone, I know that congenital heart defects is a tough topic, so I'm going to walk you through the cheat sheet in the NCLEX Flash Notes book. You can follow along and get your free download at nursing.com slash NFN. Let's get started. All right, here we are on the congenital heart defects cheat sheet. In order to understand congenital heart defects, the best place to start, as you can see at the top of this flow sheet, is, is there cyanosis or not? Let's start on the no track. If there's no cyanosis, the next thing we'll ask ourselves is vascularity increased or is vascularity normal? If vascularity is normal, then it would either be aortic stenosis, pulmonic stenosis, or coarctation of the aorta. Now, if vascularity is increased, next question we'll ask is the left atrium enlarged? If no, then we know that we have an atrial septal defect. If the left atrium is enlarged, going down the yes track, the next question we'll ask is the aorta enlarged. If yes, then we have a patent ductus arteriosus, a PDA. If no, then it's a ventricular septal defect. Let's now go to the yes side. So yes, this infant has cyanosis. Well, is the vascularity increased? If the vascularity is increased, then this could be transposition of the great arteries, TGA, truncus arteriosus, TAPVC, tricuspid atresia, or tingle ventricle. If vascularity is decreased, then we need to ask if there's cardiac enlargement. If yes, it could be an Epstein's anomaly, pulmonic atresia, or tricuspid atresia. If cardiac enlargement is a no, then we know that we're dealing with tetralogy of Fallot. I hope that cleared up congenital heart defects for you. This cheat sheet and many more are available at nursing.com slash NFN where you can get your free download of NCLEX flash notes. Happy nursing!